Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're talking about smart markers. So smart markers are essentially markers that when the playhead goes over them, they run an action or a series of actions. And today I'm going to show you how I use it to switch sounds in kind of a live situation. Remember those? Remember where you could play shows? So the timing of this is a little bit iffy because I don't know how many of y'all are playing live shows, but you can start getting prepared for when it is time to play live shows. So quick backstory, way back in the day, Logic Pro came with this other application on Mac called Mainstage. And Mainstage had some features that allowed you to play live with it. So if your band played to a click, you could essentially tell Mainstage, for example, to switch a sound for you when you get to the verse of the song. And I want to recreate that feature with Reaper. So I got a song right here. It's got bass, guitar, drums, and normally this would be played live to a click, let's say. Um, so on marker two is where this piano sound will kick in very basic piano sound. And then on marker three is when I would switch to this key sound. So because on both of these tracks, I have automatic record arm when tracks selected, selected, all I really gotta do when this cue comes up is to go to the next track. But in this part, I'm mid melody, I got both my hands on the keys, so I don't even have time to press one key. So what I can do is instead have this marker go to the next track for me. And all I gotta do is put an exclamation mark, and now this is a smart marker, and it's waiting for me to tell it what action to do. So what I wanna do is this action, track, go to next track, so I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm going to go copy selected action command ID. And every Reaper action has a command ID, which is a number unique to that action. Um, so once I have that selected, I double click on my marker and I paste it here. And now this is a smart marker that when the playhead goes over it, runs this action. So before I start playing, let's just check that this action works. So I'm going to play and right now this track is selected and watch what happens when the playhead goes over marker three. So as you saw, it automatically switched. And again, this can be any action that you want. Um, so essentially I can start playing. And once I get to this part, I switch to the piano. So that's essentially how they work. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to do it with audio, because it's a little bit different because of the possibility of clicks. So I found a workaround that works pretty well for me. Hopefully it will work for you as well. So this was just really an introduction on smart markers. Once you understand how they work, which hopefully you just did, the possibilities are endless. Literally every action plus every combination of every action is possible to run through markers. So really for live and recording situations, this is invaluable stuff. So we'll see some more examples of this hopefully very soon. Let us know in the comments what you use them for, because. Again, I'm sure every user has their own creative users and I may want to steal some of yours. I'm making a 1111 subscriber special soon. So if you have any questions for me, it doesn't have to be Reaper related. Put them in the comments below or in the community post that I shared recently. If you like the work I do, please donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. Thanks to all our previous donors. I really appreciate it and have a good one. See you soon. Bye.